Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. I'm Bree Walling. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by our friends at Fusello Kia of Cape Coral. This afternoon, we'll tell you about local gas prices after the 2017 hurricane season, decades-old allegations against Michael Jackson, and more. Today is Wednesday, December 20th, and this is the lunch break. After a late summer and early fall of hurricanes and oil supply uncertainties, fuel prices have returned approximately to where they were in August before Hurricane Harvey started a fuel price rally. According to AAA, the average fuel price in Florida on Tuesday was $2.37 per gallon, down $0.03 cents from a week ago and $0.13 cents from a month ago. In Lee County, Tuesday's average was down $0.04 cents on the week to $2.32 per gallon, and in Collier County, the average was also down $0.03 cents to $2.46 per gallon. A AAA spoke spokesman said the Gulf Coast refineries have completely recovered from the effects of Hurricane Harvey and are now flooding the market with fuel in anticipation of a strong demand during the year and holidays. Now gas prices are at their lowest point locally, statewide, and nationwide since August and Hurricanes Harvey and Irma. The lower prices at the pump are good news for an estimated record of 97.4 million Americans getting ready to hit the road for the holiday season, even though fuel prices are higher than what was seen in 2016. A single vote may spell the end of Republican control in Virginia's House of Delegates. A Democratic challenger seems to have won a recount Tuesday by one vote, putting the partisan balance in the House at a tie, and would mean a rare power-sharing agreement may have to be brokered. Shelley Simons beat three-term incumbent Republican delegate David Yancey in the 94th District in Newport News. In a dramatic hours-long recount that ended only after the precinct's ballots were exhausted and provisional ballots were examined. The recounted votes still must be certified by a court Wednesday, although officials said they expected that no ballots will be challenged. Simons, a school board member, had initially appeared to lose November's election by just 10 votes. Simons' recount victory in this mostly blue-collar district is an aftershock to the Democratic quake that shook more affluent areas in Virginia's elections. The Republicans' commanding 66-34 to 34 majority in the House plummeted to a 51-49 to 49 edge. It's now split 50-50 with Simons' apparent win. A judge on Tuesday dismissed the lawsuit brought by a choreographer who alleged Michael Jackson molested him as a child, resolving one of the last major claims against the late singer's holdings. The ruling against the now 35-year-old Wade Robson found that the two Jackson-owned corporations, which were the remaining defendants in the case, were not liable for Robson's exposure to Jackson. The judge did not rule on the credibility of Robson's allegations themselves. Robson, who is a native of Australia and has worked with Britney Spears and NSYNC, met Jackson when he was five years old. He testified in Jackson's defense at the singer's 2005 criminal trial, saying that he had spent the night at Jackson's Neverland Ranch more than 20 times and usually slept in Jackson's room, but Jackson never molested him, and he was acquitted in that trial. Then in 2013, four years after the singer's death, Robson sued the Jackson estate for what his attorneys described as molestation that spanned a seven-year period. One of Robson's attorneys attempted to clarify that once his lawsuit was filed, the stress and sexual trauma led Robson to finally accept that he had been molested by Jackson. And that was a lunch break for today. I'm Bree Walling. For your twice daily news fix, head over to the Naples Herald YouTube channel and subscribe. Leave us a comment to let us know your thoughts on the news or what you'd like to hear about. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.